Hello YouTubers, Chris W7BBQ here in the shack. I just wanted to do a quick little video on how to uh, how to upload uh, without an internet connection your log files to Logbook of the World. Um, so let's get started. Okay, this video is going to assume that you already have um, Ham Radio Deluxe installed. You already use it for logging, and um, but. But you want to say you want to upload a log to Logbook of the World um, out in the field, and, you know, out in the middle of nowhere where there's no internet connection, there's no mobile phone connection or anything like that. Um, you can still up your, upload your logs to LOTW, believe it or not. Here's how. So you want to, and there's, there's some limitations to this obviously, but we're going to upload three QSOs here from today. I did a, got a South Korea this morning, I got a Peru this afternoon, and an Austral Island uh, de-expedition here this afternoon. And uh, so first thing you wanna, we want to do is we want to go here to File, right click, File, Export. Export ADIF2. You're going to get this dialog here. You want to give it a file name. I'm going to reuse one that I had from previously because it's just a, it makes that's a good file name it makes sense save that replace the existing one yes okay export nothing else needs to be done so we got three exported entries there um, as expected and now we move on go to finish and we're going to go over here to TQSL this isn't the latest version, there's a little bit newer version, I think one point, I think I'm on 1.141 1 or something, no big deal there. I'll turn the radio down here real quick. Now we need to, to uh, certify one of these, or sign and save the ADIF file that we just exported from the Ham Radio Deluxe logbook. So we want to select the file, this is the one, this is the one we just did. So we want to do that. You can double click on it or you can click the open button. You're going to save it as a TQ8 file right there. You can see that. So just click save. And then it's going to, since I have I had a special event, so I have, a, I have two certificates in here. I'm going to use my own call sign, W7BBQ, as a certificate here. And then I'm going to click OK. It's going to add, ask me if that's the correct information. I'm going to say yes. Um, date range, I'm going to skip this because it's not relevant for this upload. And then I'm going to enter my password. And OK. Now it's going to generate that TQ8 file. All right? That's good to go. So we can exit out of this. Now we're going to start up RMS Express, which I, we, I'm assuming that you already have RMS Express installed and that you know how to use um, the WIND system. So what we're going to do now, I have to, um, this shares a connection with my Ham Radio Deluxe control, which I have already turned off now. And uh, so we're going to go, we're going to do a new, new document that opens up a, it's basically just an email here. Subject, leave blank. We're going to go to attachments. That's back on the other screen. Add. Sorry for the shaky video here. Um, the attachment, the TQ8 file that I just made, I want to add that and make sure it's not over 120K. It's definitely not. 120K is the limit for attachments through the wind system. So I'm just going to double click on that. It added it into the attachment. This is a little bit blurry. Sorry about that. And we're going to post to Outbox. I'm going, to, I'm going to minimize my HRD here to keep it simple. I like Powell there, my favorite lake. So we're going to go here to the Outbox. We're going to click on this little icon here. It looks like like two airplanes over each other. I'm not sure. It's it's open session. Is basically that's going to start a new session. Since I have it connected to my radio, 
it's going to actually change the frequency because it's controlling the radio now. It's changing the frequency to this dial frequency. So now literally all I have to do is click. Oh, oh that's not all I have to do. I have to tune up first here. Run on the on the G5. Switch over to my iPad here because my iPhone just ran out of memory. So where we left off was I was going about to click the start button and we were going to watch this uh, this email send out with the attachment going to ARRL Logbook of the World. This is without an internet connection, mind you. So we're going to start. It's going to control the radio. And when I click the start button, you're going to hear the radio is transmitting. It's looking for it's looking for the server. When the server replies, there it is. There's the other radio with the email server connected to it. So it's now now shows connected to WL2K uh, KE7XO um, and is is in Vegas. So you're going to see that it's going to make a series of of handshakes back and forth. The uh, program has to verify the message to make sure that it's not too big um, before it sends it. So now we're, t we're talking back and forth, keying up the radio. You can see what's going on here, acknowledge percentage. So now we're, we're sending this message, we're going to start seeing a green bar going across the screen and that's basically the percentage of the message that's been sent so far. So now it says it's sending. And when my when my radio is keyed up is when it's is when it sends some more data. So you can see uh, every time the radio keys up, which it's keyed up right now. Actually, yeah, we're only on 30 watts here, so you know, don't want to don't want to be too hot. So this is the process of sending a email over the air. And this isn't a very big email, it's a, it's a couple of kilobytes, but um, it's a little bit slower than, say, Pactor would be a little, would be three times as fast, or a little more than three times the speed of this. But um, this is what I, this is without, um, without a Pactor modem, which is, a, you know, easily a thousand dollars or more just for the modem. This is just with my sound card and... Um, uh, digital interface that I, the homebrewed digital interface that I put between my computer and my radio, uh, but it could easily be done with a rig blaster or um, or a signal link also. So this has been a simulation. Uh, not this is not a simulation. Actually, this is the real thing. Sending this email to ARRL um, over the radio, and when this is done, there will be the final handshake and goodbye. See that's finished. You're gonna have a new status down here. It's gonna say completed or something like that. Completed. And then it's gonna. They're both gonna say goodbye to each other, and that's gonna be it. That's the end of it. Disconnecting. Now my. That's just my radio. It's saying its last goodbyes there. And that is the server in Vegas saying its last goodbye. And that's it. So in about five minutes, I'm going to go check the uh, LOTW website and make sure that it actually did upload and that it's all there as expected. Thanks for watching. And there they are. And I actually have one that one that posted already confirmed QSL. So there's these top three right here are the three that we just posted, just uploaded uh, through the wind system um, using my radio without an internet connection. I hope you can learn to do the same thing and please post questions down below if you have any. Thanks for watching.